Okay, hi everyone, Daryl here. Sean. And Agnes here. Okay, uh, we have a question, right? Like, extremely relevant. Mm. And uh, definitely a question that uh, comes up from time to time. Uh, the question is, what can I do if my tenant doesn't pay rent? Okay, unfortunately, if you are not a property man management customer, there's nothing much we can do for you. But if you are a property <laughs> management customer, yes. Okay. There's a few steps that we will take. Uh, according to our contract, um, if they are late, right, for seven days, we will give them notice and tell them that, uh, I mean, it's a grace period. La. Usually, per day will be a $500, a 500 buck fine. So, we will count from, usually give them a grace of seven days. After that, we will start counting. So, um, on the contract, uh, within 14, after 14 days, if they do not pay the rent, what we do is, uh, we give a bit of chance we will be calling their jurisdict to turn off their water supply. Yeah, can you imagine them going home and they cannot take any shower? Yeah. No so water supply. Why we do that? Okay, because the the water is controlled by the building jurisdict with uh, the technician help they can turn off the whole power supply to your unit. So the tenant have no choice but to contact the jurisdict. So once they contact the jurisdict, they will advise them to contact the landlord or the landlord representative which is us. Then that's when we will tell them you better pay up or else the next thing we'll do will be going to the police uh, police station, make a report and to cancel your contract. Then we'll chase the tenant out. We actually physically go up to the unit. If let's say by then they still don't <coughs> respond, right? Mm. We'll, with the police report, we can physically go up to the unit, go in and uh, we can uh, retrieve back your unit yeah, for correct. you in that sense. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, if you are not under our property management, right? you can do that too. You can fly to Thailand. Go and make a police report, and then at the, with the assistance of your juristic or security guard, you can go and be, uh, go and enter your unit and throw out everything and lock lock it up. You can do that too. Okay, uh, uh, I I didn't know they were this fierce guys. Mm. Seriously, <laughs> yeah, but because fourteen days is yeah, when when the tenant move in, they give you two months rent, third deposit, right? So fourteen so days, right? That would enough to cover. That's yeah. enough to cover fourteen days. But if you're gonna drag to one month. Basically, you have nothing to cover because when one year uh, one year lease contract, you actually pay your agent one month uh, rent the commission. Okay. So it be become like zero already. So you gotta move fast. Correct. So we will give them fourteen days. Usually, that's the case. Okay. So that's all from, from this question. Yeah. And we'll see you in the next video.